So highlights then from this first session. We gave them 15 minutes. And just like yesterday, they used all yeah, 15 like in your, green your flag conditions. Lap, and the uh, Caravan HQ Coca-Cola 92 did a nice job in the early stages. But for Cam McLeod, would only finish up in this one second overall. Cool to see Tony Aldino back there. That was actually the seat pillar popping out of that car. So a little bit more to that one as they uh, had to put a little bit of race tape. Fix anything with race tape and white tyres. Doesn't matter what level of motorsport you race in. BJR cars went back out there and onto the track to try and chase down this guy, but no one could quite topple his time of a 55.218. McLeod got very close. He missed it by just 0002 of a second. So a nice tight session, votes nicely for what's to come. Max Vidal topping the times today. First time that we've seen him in that Anderson Motorsport car in position number one. But where will it wash out? At the end of another 15 minutes of frantic qualifying. So highlights then from a perplexing session here in the sunshine today. We didn't get down to the 54s that we had yesterday, so not quite as quick. Brad Vaughan for the Tickford driving team who have a three-car operation here this weekend. The disappointment from yesterday, the starter motor, unfortunately failing on the grid and taking him out of the action. He bounces back to grab the pole today from Zach Bates, the Shaw Wines driver. Walkinshaw and Druid United, aren't they having a weekend? He's put himself on the front row. Kai Allen leading the championship, has won every single race, couldn't get it together in this qualifying session. That slide was on his only real push lap and he'll start 13th today. Cooper Murray's in seventh, but it's the Dorm HVAC Services number five of Brad Vaughan who will today celebrate his third career pole. 